Okay, trying to read the wheel speed sensor values, um, checking the ohms to see if the sensors read good from the connector end. And here's what I'm seeing. <clears throat> I've got these two probes on the right rear wheel sensor wires. What I'm on is I'm on connector one, and I'm on those two pins there. 28 is green. That's the negative. The, you can see I made the notations above it. The next one over is white, and it's positive. So if you look over here, that's how I've got these probes hooked up, and the wires are being pierced by the piercing connector ends. They're firmly in there. And what's a little bit odd to me is I've got my ohmmeter set for um, 2,000 ohms, because that it could be anything from 600 to 2,300. And I'm just seeing the 1.0. I'm not seeing any... That doesn't look like a real reading to me. It should be some sort of odd number or something. I've got everything hooked up correctly here. Um, the connector is off the, East, or the uh, BAS module, and I'm just confused. So that is the right rear wheel speed sensor, which I was getting an intermittent reading from that. So in a sec, I'll switch to just a plain test wire. I'm going to open this plain test wire between those probes and see what that shows for continuity and ohms. And then I'll maybe try a different wheel speed sensor on the opposite side. Okay, so thanks a lot. Um, any UML pros that are out there, <laughs> love a little input. Thank you, brothers. Okay, now here I've got the, um, the test wire, just a coil of wire connected. And I'm going to attach the probe here. Let me... Um, Carefully watch the display. So the display is right there where it was before um, when I was fully connected to the wires that go to the ABS sensor. And now when I plug this thing in, I'm actually pushing it together. All of a sudden, we get a reading. That's actually reading. It went down to zero real quick, but when I first um, punched it in there, it went like, it's counted down from 0 0.005 down to one and then to zero. So that's showing a continuity um, I'm baffled here. I don't even know what to say. You can hear it shows complete continuity there. Um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be seeing, but the you gents on the forum, Ytech and Deplore and others, were saying I should have see, I should be seeing values in the neighborhood of 600 to 2300 ohms. I'm seeing nothing on that. Um, let me make sure it is the uh, right rear VSS sensor. But I'll switch my probes to the other one, the left rear. And we'll see, and I'll try and continue the video from there. So thanks a lot for sticking with me. Appreciate your help in the troubleshooting. Okay, now the plot thickens. Um, I'm getting a reading on this one. <clears throat> Something like I expect to see on the other one. 1 1.157. I presume that's um, 1,157 ohms. Okay, so I'm on the wires for the left rear VSS speed sensor. I've got the negative on the orange wire and the positive on the pink wire, which if you come over here is terminals 20, um, sorry, 25 and 6 on connector um, 1. And that was the only sensor that was showing good. So my question kind of goes like this. I assumed that I had a bad BAS unit, a defective central BAS unit, that silver box right there, um, if I had multiple sensors bad, because it's like, how could three sensors go bad at once? And I've not yet tested the front two, <clears throat> but I suspect I'm going to find a dead signal on those two. So here's my, my question, is that how is it possible that the wires to the left rear sensor are reading fine, which the vehicle code check uh, in the central computer does show, it's getting a signal from that, but not from the other three. So I just have a hard time imagining three different wire connectors going bad all at one time. So I will check the front ones. It probably will be a second video, um, or I'll just append a quick section on here to tell you how that worked out. We'll see. I, I've got to switch wires and so forth. So thanks a lot for um, bearing with me. And any comments you have, please post back on the forums or in the comments below this. Thank you, and God bless everybody for your help. Okay, here we are hooked up to the wires for the left front sensor and um, the blue and the white terminals um, 43 and 44. I had to kind of dig into the harness from the other side, but that is the correct wires for sure. And I, I'm getting the same dead sensor reading. I, I get nothing. I get, you know, one point. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me set it to 2K. I get 1.0. Once again, a dead reading. No difference when I plug it into the meter or unplug it uh, with the wires fully pierced. So I presume I'll find the right thing when I check the right front sensor. I won't waste your time with that, but I will check it and, 
and let you know subsequently what it did. Thank you. Okay, same same story. It's hooked up to the right front. Same problem. Zero signal. So that it just has me baffled. I'm I'm unclear on how I could have three simultaneously bad sets of wiring. Unless there's a central point. I don't know. I'm 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 just so unaware and out of my league here. So I don't think all three sensors could be bad at the same time. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Um, but there we go. Third dead sensor, only a reading from the one that does show a uh, reading on the <clears throat> on the do the scan test. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate your help. Bye.